And our next question is from an expecting mother who has a very common concern. Hi doctors, I'm pregnant and I know I can't eat sushi, but are there any other ways that I could be exposed to mercury during pregnancy, like other types of seafood? Wow, excellent question. Well, you definitely can't eat sushi because it's raw. Nothing raw because of toxoplasmosis, listeria, all those different things. But mercury is a huge problem because it gets in our fish. And But you do want to eat fish when you're pregnant because of omega-3 fatty acids. But there are other exposures that you can get mercury. You can get in, in your thermometer, the little metal stuff that's in there. So if it breaks, you want to be careful because not only can you ingest it, but you can inhale it or if you touch it, it's also harmful to your baby. It can cause problems problems with its nervous system, its, its kidneys, um, a lot of birth defects. So this is something that you don't want to come into contact with when you're pregnant. Not um, all thermometers have mercury in them. No, right, but if right. the thermometer does have mercury, you want to be very careful about that, especially if it breaks. Also, fl fluorescent light bulbs. So if one breaks, you don't want to clean it up. That's what you get your partner to do or something like that. Don't ever clean that up. Don't have it in a drawer where it might get broken. Um, so batteries are another thing, especially if you keep batteries in a drawer, um, especially these flat ones, they can also emit mercury as well. So these are other types of ways that you can expose yourself to mercury when you're pregnant that you want to avoid. Also, a lot of women are worried about their fillings because there is amalgam in there that does have mercury. You do not want to remove them um, while you're pregnant, and the FDA doesn't think that there's enough in your fillings to cause any problems with pregnancy. Just so that you know, if you do need a filling, you want to make sure that you speak to your dentist and make sure you don't get the filling that has mercury in it. And if you are, God forbid, exposed, we talked about arsenic exposure and symptoms before. Same thing with mercury, these very nonspecific symptoms. You're not going to know what the heck it is unless you think, well, how could I, maybe I was exposed to mercury. And if you are, you can get tested to see if you're at a toxic level.